Hey guys, good morning. Thanks for joining me for another one. I do appreciate it. It's Memorial Day weekend. It's Sunday and uh, I get to go out and do a little bit of fishing. I think today's mission is I'm going to target some snakehead. I've been catching them a lot lately by accident. I didn't have a cooler with me, but today I brought my cooler. So I'm going to see if I can't put a few fish in the box. Let's hope and if I do, catch and cook. It's happening. That was a big hit. All right. Not bad. That's why I wanted to keep you on the line. These grippers. I need to replace these. They do not want to seem to hold on to a fish these days. I'm going to make my way back to the car here and away from the water so if he does get loose, I don't lose him. That was quick. That was my second or third cast. In the box. I guess that means I gotta get some ice. All right, we got one in the box. Here's what did the work. A uh, little black buzz bait. I got it in my Bass Baits monthly box. I don't quite remember what brand it is. That's a gambler. Easy swimmer and black and blue on the end. Now I'm targeting snakehead. It doesn't matter what I throw at them. They are very aggressive and they will hit anything. But because it's early enough and the sun isn't completely, at least over this body of water yet, it's pretty shaded. Uh, you know, top water. <laughs> That's the most fun you can have. So that was like my third cast I got that guy. So I probably am not going to get another one right here. But I'll throw it out just in case. And then I'll move down a little bit. And as the day gets uh, brighter, I'll just switch to a different bait. See if I can't put a few more in the cooler. I did bring a very small cooler, so I might have to be selective about which ones I keep. But I got one in the box. And one is all I need for a catch and cook. Let's see. Well, that was interesting. My line snapped. But, on a positive note, I found it. So I'm not gonna lose my bait. That was uh, that was interesting. That'd be cool, right? Hand line in a snakehead. Okay, so that was interesting. Luckily, there was enough line out that I was able to recover the line and the bait. So there's no extra trash in the water. Didn't lose my bait. I am going to uh, fix this mess and be right back all right that was a bigger mess 
than I thought it was going to be. So I just decided to cut my losses on that one. I always bring more than one combo with me. So instead of throwing the buzz bait, I already got this zoom paddle tail rigged up. I'll throw that. Like I mentioned before, it doesn't matter what you throw. These guys are super aggressive. If you throw it in their general vicinity, they're going to hit it. home i cleaned up i showered we're all good i got some friends over and i've got the one snakehead i caught today now i did the cleaning part off camera because i think youtube's got a weird thing about blood and cleaning fish so off camera i did the cleaning and now i'll show you how i cook it up okay here's the fillets i got off that one fish so not too bad it's been a while since i filleted a fish so i did waste a little bit of meat but i tried to get every little bite that i could cut out the bones uh these are two good boneless fillets um there it wasn't a huge fish, but that's not too bad. So I'm going to fry these up and here's a pro tip for you. If you want your kids to eat it, cut it into little nugget sized pieces. And then like my daughter calls them snakehead nuggets and she actually eats it, which, you know, she's 12. So to get her to eat anything is kind of weird these days. So I'm going to get these finished cutting up and then I'll come back and show you the next step. Okay. Now my wife is playing cameraman. I appreciate you, honey. Thank you. So I got all the snakehead meat cut into the little snakehead nuggets. This is not a difficult recipe. I know they even technically would call it a recipe. But I whip up probably more egg than I needed to. Then you just throw your snakehead chunks in the egg. And then we'll toss them in the secret ingredient. High-tech uh, secret stuff. No one knows about that. And if you can hear that leaf blower, sorry, my neighbor decided that, you know, Sunday at 6.30 was an awesome time to do his yard work. Okay, then you just take the pieces and shake off some of the extra egg. And I don't extra season this or anything, this is just kind of use it right out of the box as God intended. around and there we go one ready to be fried snakehead nugget now let's repeat the process for all the fish i have and then we'll go take them outside and grill them up all right we are good to go start dropping these i have to do this outside because frying fish stinks Probably shouldn't be wearing flip-flops either, but I'm just handsome, not smart. That's good enough for the first round. Don't want to overload it. All right, give them a little flip. With nuggets this small, I only go like a minute and a half per side. I keep having to Resistor urge to grab the hot pan. Alrighty. I think that first one's about done. I'm gonna grab one of the thick ones just to make sure. Oh yeah, look at that. Good, good stuff. So if you weren't sure, you can see they're just a flaky white meat. They don't have any discernible like game fishy flavor or anything. They kind of taste however you cook them. And that's why I like the Xanderans mixture it's got a good flavor to it and then in your sauce that you make for it you can add hot sauce or whatever you want to it to uh spice it up if that's what people need i'll sit them on that towel to dry off with the excess oil and we'll start with batch number two
All right, and that's about really all there is to it. It wasn't a huge fish, but I got two fillets, and there's actually more than this, but the vultures have already gotten to it. So let me get a bite. No, if it sucks, I'm really going to work on my acting face here, but... Mmm. Mmm. No, nothing sucks about that at all. Not a beer. Ugh. Mm. That's really good. So yeah, they're invasive. You're supposed to get rid of them and kill them. They're also freaking delicious. So I highly recommend if you're down here or anywhere else where you got these bullseye snakeheads, catch them, cook them, eat the hell out of them. They're fantastic. <laughs>